One of the most fun and versatile ways to play with timbre is through audio rate modulation. This video series will explore a few different types, frequency, amplitude, and ring modulation. Each has its place in the landscape of your sound. I've set the two VCOs of the DPO to the same starter frequency. We'll go from here to modulate in several ways. Let's start by patching VCO A's sine wave to the VCO B linear FM input and turning up the attenuator. As we scan VCO B's frequency to various octaves and fifths using the Rene QCV, we can hear different FM ratios. Notice that once the attenuator goes past one o'clock or so, the pitch begins to change as the circuit is being overdriven. Now let's try patching this through a VCA first, opened by a periodic function for maths. This gives us dynamic control over the FM depth. Notice the difference in sound. On the DPO, neither the patch cable from the modulator nor the VCA is actually necessary for this patch. It already exists inside the FM bus. Just patch the math's channel to FM index and turn up the attenuverter. You might notice that the response is different from whatever VCA you were using before, but you can always tailor the amount and your function's shape to taste. A nice thing about the FM bus is that it sends the sine wave to both linear and expo inputs. With the depth set by their respective input attenuators. You'll notice that expo FM is heavier and destroys the fundamental pitches much more quickly. We can also achieve a sort of sliding into FM by turning up the follow amount and letting VCOA chase the input voltage at VCOB's one volt per octave input. You could also modulate in the other direction through the FM bus by adjusting the VCOA FM input attenuators. A little bit of linear FM will cause a slight instability like vibrato when tuned like this. Anything more, especially if Expo is up on both sides, will descend into cross-modulated feedback, which can also be fun. Let's note that while we are using sine waves, FM is an operation on the core of the oscillator, and thus all the waveform outputs are affected by it. The more complex waves like square and final will tend to be more noisy because each of their harmonics is being affected by the modulation. But with carefully set depth, it is quite possible to get specific and predictable results out of them. In the next video we will talk about amplitude and ring modulation, how they differ from FM and from each other, and the possible advantage of using them instead of FM in some situations because they leave the oscillator core unmodulated.